Hi, it's Neil. As you may know, recently Mojang released 1.16 and 1.16.1, which is only a Realm fix. This new release added a lot of new features, notably in the Never, but also broke a few generation stuff. That's why Captain Vutax updated the Seed Cracker mode. For those that didn't follow, here a quick recap. A Minecraft world is determined with a single number called a seed. The seed can be recovered with feature, structure, and other generation elements of Minecraft. Captain Utax made a mode to do so, and since 1.14, we are able to crack the seed in less than a minute of walking in a new world, thanks notably to Dungeon, of course. As you may know, since 1.14, the mod loader is Fabric MC, so you need to get it. So you need FabricMC to use the mod, so you go to FabricMC.net, then when you are on the website, you go in Use, you download the .exe for Windows or the .jar for Linux, you download the .exe, you click on it, uh, then there is a pop-up to, to prompt you to, to run, so you click on Run, and then you have the, the thingy to install, so you select your version, so uh, the mods support 1.14.4, 1.15 and 1.16, any version of 1.15 and 1.16. But here we are on 1.16, so we go for it, we create a new profile, we install it, and that's it. We have installed it. So, when it's done, you are going to go to the GitHub link in the description, which is captain 2 tax um, slash seedcracker then you go on the profile page and if you well you go down in the in the mobile view or if you are on the desktop it will be on the right side you will have a, a part called release and you go in that part and you download the latest release so always the latest there will be maybe some updates so download the latest for to be sure. So you don't need to download the dev, the source, the source, no. just download the one with .jar, like the name and .jar. So here yeah, it's the last one, but in older version, it, yeah, it was old, yeah, but always the one with not source, source, dev, and dev, just the one with simple the name and .jar. So when you have your jar, you go in your explorer, so here, you go in the director bar and you type percent app data percent which will lead you to app data roaming and then you go in dot minecraft here if you don't have a mod folder you create a mods folder then you go into my mod folder and you just drag drop the the dot jar here so now you start your Minecraft, so you don't select the latest release, you select the Fabric Loader 1.16.1 and you click play. It should load everything, so it will download some stuff of course, but when it's done you will be able to, to play the game with the, the mod. Ok, so once you are loaded, you know you are in Fabric with uh, the mod loaded because you have that mention. Then you go in single player, create a new world, so let's call it Seed Cracking 1.16. Uh, we go in survival, difficulty normal, we don't allow cheats, and we need to generate structure, of course. But that just default, so yeah. We create a new world, it will take a while, so let's speed up. Okay. So now we are in the world, so as you can see, the uh, first thing that appears is fetch ash ward seed, which is important to crack the, the biomes. So don't worry about it, it's just a temporary seed, you don't have to do anything, it, it gets every time you go in different dimension. So first thing you, you can, well, you need to know is the command. So the command prefix is seed, so if I do it here, because I'm single player, I will get the actual seed. So I will show you the actual seed, but you can't do it in multiplayer. So seed, then there is uh, four different options. So cracker, which allow you to ever disable it. So seed cracker off, seed cracker is not active now, or enable it. So that's useful when you want to disable the mod because it does a lot of overlay. Then there is seed data, which allow you to clear the data because uh, sometimes you want to reset it after going in a lobby, for example. 
and there is also the bits command which show you uh, how many bits you have collected so right now just by logging in I collected uh, 13 of out of the 32 needed so that's great then go in seed finder which will allow you to um, toggle some finder depending on category and type so category there is biome so usually you want that to be on uh, there is also a decorator, so um, if there is some trick in the server, you may want some to be off, but right now we want all of them on. By default there are two, but we want them to be on. And there is also structure, which are also on by default, but you want them also, so yeah. Better to be safe, so all on, and that's it. Uh, I talk also about type, so you have type and you can select some specific one to be toggle off and on. So that's for further personalization. Um, there is also the last command which is render and that's to disable the render because sometimes it can be laggy on the client. So you can disable everything, just turn it on or use the x-ray. So usually you want to say x-ray, uh, by default it's the x-ray. So that's it, so we are in default. Um, as you can see there is also some stuff rendered, so first thing that render here are, um, well, that's bird treasure, so you see because it's uh, one small cube in it's gold and it's in a beach biome, but there is also um, a green, well, green lime one which is uh, biomes which we don't need uh, anymore. There is also, well, dungeon. So you see, the, um, the, the red one is a dungeon, so it will show the shortcut into dungeon, and basically you just crack it the seed. Because you only need one dungeon to get the, the full seed. So it will go in, yeah, it's quite, uh, it's quite fast. So you will get a lot of structure seed, you don't care about the rules. There are just uh, 48 bits of uh, the full seed, and then you will get a full word seed. Um, this word seed is derived from that part, so you need that one. If you didn't have that part before, you couldn't get that part. So that part you could get from the dungeon, but that one you need that part before. So such. So yeah, I found the seed, and as you can see, it's exactly the same. So nothing wrong here. So yeah. We are we are good. So let me turn on shit now, so I can just go and creative and and see and see stuff. So yeah, let me go in creative game mode creative. And so it's basically the same stuff as before. So there is overlay for everything. So here it's biomes. So as you can see, it's green lime. There is also structure which are highlighted in blue. So this is a, a, a monument. There is also well, the, um, the dungeon, so each dungeon is basically a print seed. So if you get one, you get print. But sometimes you don't have the full floor on the dungeon, so it will not display the um, the, well, the the full square. So it will display only one dot, and that's uh, not a good one. So just get one. Like there is <laughs> a lot, and there is also the um, well, the lime one, well, the, the green green one which are emerald so all of that are emerald old and this gets, gets uh, you a lot of um, of bits so bits are needed to, to crack so if you go in data bits and as you can see I collected <laughs> over 2000 uh, bits so that's a lot um, so currently yeah you you just need to, to stand in the world and just walk a bit and get a, a dungeon and you get the seed. But in case you want to go in the old way, well, you need to collect um, bits, so you need uh, at least 32, and then you need to go in the end. So, well, you can collect bits from structure or just decoration like uh, ores and so on. So, yeah, let's go to the end. Uh, let's go first. Let's reset the data because you need to reset the data. So data clear and okay. So we have resetted everything. Let's go in set data and bits. Yeah, I've got enough bits. So let's go in the end. So set block here, here and portal and we are in the portal. So as you can see, it's all process. You get the pillar seed from the 
12th pillar, uh, the 10th pillar, and then it starts to look for the structure seed. Uh, it's quite a lengthy process compared to the dungeon one, it could take up to 5 minutes, so yeah, it's quite... Uh, it's quite slow con compared to the new method I get. Um, so yeah, you can just hang out in, in the never and it will get you. But that is useful because sometimes you just want um, the never seed, so uh, the end seed. So you just need to go at the pillar and get in some end city and you can get the seed from the end. Which will not be the same as the overworld one, but yeah. So basically, yeah, we are done. Uh, well, let me show you that this works, but basically you just need a, a dungeon, so at that point we, we were done, like one minute before I started. Uh, so let's speed up that part. Ah, as you can see it found um, a structure seed already, uh, which if we look back is already one listed here. Uh, no, it's not that one. Yeah, it's that one, it's the last one. So we know that one is correct one. But yeah, obviously <laughs> we clear everything in between, so we don't know. So let's wait. Okay, so as you can see, we finished uh, searching for structure seed. We found only one, so uh, that's good. And we get the word seed from the ash seed before. Of course we can get it from the biome, but it's way easier to get it from that, so yeah. If you don't get the ash seed uh, when you log on or just go in another dimension, try to, well, just kill yourself. Like, if you kill yourself, it will fetch the, the ash seed again. Like, uh, if I do seed data clear, and I just kill myself, so yeah. Okay, and respawn, and I get the ash seed again because it fetches it every time you kill it. So that's an easy fix if you don't have it uh, at the first time, which could happen, but uh, really it was fixed in 1.16, so yeah, it was a, a bug in 1.15 back. Okay, so I um, guess we have covered everything, so maybe let's go in multiplayer. So let's go in in a well, real server, so I just took one random server I found in the internet, so sorry for the owner, I guess. Um, so it's survival and it should be 1.16, so uh, let's go to the world, yay! So uh, I already got the fetch what seed and... I'm guessing I need to well, walk a bit because um, I'm not lucky because I don't have any dungeon here. Oh, maybe I didn't activate the uh, uh, category decorator on. Yeah, okay. So now we should be walking. <laughs> Of course, you could. Well, here we have already enough data, so. Yeah, oh. Well, barely enough. So, yeah, okay. We got the world set. <laughs> that's it. Um, yeah, so that's as easy as that. Because, yeah, you, you we found already a dungeon. So, yeah, pretty cool and pretty easy to go. So, yeah, let's just post it here, I guess. Because, yeah, why not? Yep. And that's it. Thanks all for watching, I guess. Quick part. Uh, I will do um, a quick video to respond to all of the questions that could uh, be in the comments. And that video should be published in one, two, three days, depending on uh, your question. So feel free to ask them in the comments and I will try to respond to them in text and also in the video. Because I know a lot of you are wondering uh, about some stuff, so yeah. And if you want to interact with me, well, you can contact me on on Discord, so it's Neil uh, hashtag and uh, 4879, uh, and you can also go in the Monkeys Discord, which will be linked uh, down. So, yeah, hope you enjoy, have fun.